Well, I hope it's still 2022. Because we watched AEW Dynamite August 10th, 2022, which opens with a coffin match. Okay, so technically there is a tackle first or a dive or a dropkick or something, but really the very first offensive maneuver on this entire program was one man slicing another open with thumbtacks. Yeah, that was the first move. It set the tone. Dude, we got off to a hot, bloody I'll start. I'll say we got off to a hot start. So it, Darby's got the thumbtack uh, uh, skateboard, and he's raking Brody's face with it, and Brody's just spilling blood everywhere. It gets to the point where Brody was wearing face paint for this match. To, it was a big, big deal coffin match with uh, Darby here, so he wants to match him face paint for face paint. But it actually looked like somehow the face paint was like starting to stop the blood from going any further, because like his whole face was red. But it was collecting in a puddle on his forehead. It was an insane amount of blood. Uh, they're having this just wild-ass fight. And we'll get to NXT. But the main program there is Big Strong Braun Breaker versus Itty Bitty Little JD McDonough in a fight that seems totally unfair. Now, obviously, I'm not suggesting that JD McDonough and Braun Breaker use thumbtacks or any of this, this garbage stuff. But just watching these guys fight. And Darby was fighting with such intensity. It felt like... A fair contest, even though this size discrepancy is much bigger than the one between Braun Breaker and J.D. McDonough. So they're just beating the tar out of each other and elbowing each other in the face. And Darby is just, he, he's, I, I describe them as tackles, but honestly, he is just running as fast as he can at Brody King and hitting him with every pound of his body, just charging at him over and over again. Uh, Brody is walking around. They, they point out the thumbtacks in his back for most of this match. I'm pretty sure... When things were said and done and the match was over, he was still had thumbtacks stuck in his belly. That sounds no fun. So we come back from break. Brody's just an absolute mess of blood. He goes to a table, explodes. The lights go out for a while. The House of Black's out there and Julia Hart's out there. And they're all working Darby over. Crowd demands Sting. And so, of course, Buddy opens the coffin. And it's Sting! And it's funny because... Sting's laying down in the coffin. He's got to get up to his feet before he can do anything. And Buddy Matthews just stands there for a while as Sting gets to his feet and hits Buddy Matthews with a baseball bat. And it comes down to a stare down with Sting and Malachi Black. Sting tosses the bat to Malachi. Malachi laughs at this, throws the bat back at him, and walks away. They keep having a stare down. Meanwhile, the match continues. What a finish they had. What a finish they had. So this whole deal started when uh, Brody eliminated Darby by choking him, hanging him to death, and throwing him out of a battle royal. So they're fighting on the apron, and Brody's going for Christ knows what out there, some, some horribly violent thing. But Darby gets his hands on a chain and wallops Brody with it. And then he gets into the ring. He's choking Brody with the chain. He's hanging Brody to death this time. And Brody goes limp, and Darby lets go. And Brody does the, the most slick job ever of landing on his feet, rolling into the coffin, and slamming the lid shut. It was perfect. You know, it's funny, because in wrestling, you know, anybody can come up with, like, an idea. A good idea. Or even a great idea. But when it's happening live, you just never know if it's going to work or not. And the funny thing is, this idea was so simple. It was like, you hung me by my neck. So I'll hung, I'll hang you by your neck, and you fall into the coffin. That's that's the whole idea. When you think about it, it's not even that great an idea. It's the obvious finish. But my God, it was so perfect in execution. It was beyond perfect. He hangs him with this chain. Brody did the the most, and it, like he's a big dude. And this coffin is, it was like the game of, uh, uh, what was that old game where you try to use that thing? Operation. Operation. It's like game of Operation. He just exactly fits into this coffin. But he doesn't hit the sides at all. He perfectly, he falls off the apron perfectly into this coffin. And the moment he hits, his impact causes the lid to slam shut. It was fucking perfect. I loved this finish. Thank God. This actually, even though there was so much blood... I actually think this match was less violent than the the last match they had, where Brody just killed Darby absolutely to death, and I thought there was going to be like a some sort of tragedy. But uh, this match was was really fun. Darby got his big win. Brody has vowed this is not over. I have no idea where he could possibly go from here, unless you start getting into fire and shit like that. But an excellent, excellent opener here on this show. You know, Tom, it was abundantly clear this week that I just don't get enough respect. 
Excuse me? I feel I deserve a little bit of credit for your, your recent success. You want to take credit for my victory in the G1 Climax? You can fuck off. Why don't you put your money where your little mouth is and get in the ring with me? No. If you, if you really want to take credit for this shit. There's a tweet from August 3rd. Who wants to make it happen? I'll team with Debbie Malenko. Why don't you call up Billy Starks and why don't you step in the ring against me and her, huh? I'll text yeah, her right. right now. I'll be in Chicago all out weekend. How about that? I'll call up Mikey. The Black Label? Yeah. Debbie, are you available all out weekend? Look at those arms. Brian's not even in ring shape for this. Show me yours, Tom. Huh? Look at this. Go back and forth. Huh? Go back. Jared, put yours up. Go back. 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 Oh, yeah. Who's not in ring shape now, motherfucker? She can't do it. She can't do it? She can't do it. This is like when we grappled, Brian, and you clearly tapped. Oh, fuck off. I... What a dick. Oh, so now now you're getting fired up? Well, fuck, dude. You know, we can settle God. this. God. We can settle this. You meet me in Chicago. Buddy. I'm I'm in. You've agreed. Yeah, I've agreed because you don't have Basically. a fucking partner. I will beat dude. your ass silly. <laughs> yeah. I'm texting him right now. Mikey, by the way, okay. Yes, all caps. I'm not the only killer that you're going to be in there with, Brian. Killer Kelly. See you in Chicago. Although I, I was just alerted that the show is at 11 o'clock p.m., so I, I may have to pull out. That's past my bedtime. So if you're going all out weekend, Black Label Pro, Friday, September 2nd. I can't wait to beat your ass. Not going to happen. It's been years in the making.